Hey everyone, so today we'd be talking about the music and mixer module in Pygame. They go very hand in hand. The mixer module has many modules like music, sound, channel. Today we'd be talking about only the music module. I could have used the sound module as well, but the music module is more versatile. They eventually turn out to be similar, although the way they work is different. So what the mixer module does is it helps to control playback of the streamed music. We won't do anything tedious today. We would just learn some functions by music module and write a code to understand how they work. So the first function we have in music module is load. As we had load in image module, just like that here, the load function loads the music file and prepares it for playing. It doesn't play the music. Please note, it doesn't play the music. If music is already playing, the load function would stop playing it and restart everything. Then next, we have the unload function to unload the currently loaded music file and free up space and variable. Then we have the play function, which is used to play the music once loaded. So it takes in three arguments. They're not mandatory, but you can give at most three arguments. So the first one is how many times you want to repeat the music, which is called as loop. It should be an integer. Then we have start position, which should be a float from where the music should start. That's what it mentions. Then we have fade underscore MS, the time for which the music should fade to volume zero in milliseconds. Please be careful while giving the arguments uh, in Pygame as there are many units of time in Pygame. Then we have the rewind function, which plays the audio file from the beginning. It's very simple. If audio is paused, it remains paused. If unpaused, the music starts from the beginning. Now we have the stop function, which stops the music. Please note that stop and unload are not the same. Then we have the pause function to temporarily stop the music. Then we have the unpause function to resume the music after it is paused. Then we have this fade out function. It takes time argument for which music should fade out in milliseconds. Cool. Then we have some methods like the set volume, get volume, get busy, set position, get position. Let's discuss them one by one. We have the set volume method, which is used to set the volume of the audio. We can know the current volume of the audio by checking the get volume. We can know if the player is busy or not by using the get busy method. It returns a boolean, which is true when music is playing. Then we have the set position method to set from to set the point from which playback should start playing. Then we have get position to get the time for how long the music has been playing. Then we have this queue function to enqueue a song to the current one. Once the current song is done playing, the queue function would play the next song automatically. We can only enqueue one song at a time. So I don't want to write pygame.mixer.music over and over again. So what I did is I wrote from pygame import mixer. I initialized the mixer module, loaded the song, then I used the play, func play function to play it. Now we will see other functions later. Let's do the basic music streaming first. Then I have printed the boolean get busy to check whether the player is busy or playing or playing something or not. Then I have a loop. Uh, a loop is not necessary because we don't have the screen displaying something or not here. We don't have any events. Just to make the program more functional, like an audio player, I have done this. I have taken an input, like for P, pause, U to unpause, R to rewind, S to exit. Then I have these conditions to pause, unpause, rewind and exit accordingly according to the input. So if I run it now, you would hear an audio and it's the song.mp3. It's right here in the Python folder. So let's run this code and see 
if we hear an audio. I press P and I get the answer as false as the player is no more streaming and it's no, no longer busy as I have paused the audio. If I unpause it, you'll see that the get busy function returns true. So I've stopped the function and uh, it returns false, the get busy method returns false as the player is no longer playing the music. Now let's try using this get volume method to get the current volume of the audio. Then I'd be setting the volume to 0 0.8 by using set volume method and check it again if the volume was set properly. Now let's run this. So we have the volume to 0 0.9, which is almost 1. And then we have set the volume to 0 0.8, so the volume comes out to be 0 0.8. So yeah, things are working as we want it to be. Now let's try getting the position for how long the audio has been playing. So the audio has been playing from 1 milliseconds, the output is 1 millisecond. If more functions are being called out, the time would increase. Now let's try doing the fade out function. So I have written mixer.music.fadeout and written 10,000 in the argument. So I have given the argument of 10 seconds, that is after 10 seconds the music should, uh, should fade away and stop since one second has thousand milliseconds so i've multiplied 10 by thousand so let's check if the music fades away after 10 seconds so yeah the music did fade away after 10 seconds and if I check for unpause now or let me check for rewind if I check rewind now it comes out to be false because the fade out function completely stops the audio player and hence the player is no longer busy now let's try the set position function I have given the argument as 120 seconds so I want the music to start from 2 minutes, from the position 2 minutes. Let's see if the music starts midway. Let me run this. So yeah, the music starts midway, that is from 2 minutes. Now let's use the Q function. Uh, I'd be writing mixer.music.q. And I have mentioned this next song.mp3. It's also in the Python folder. You can see it over here. I don't want to wait for like two minutes to listen to the entire song. Then I'd check if the song is queued and it has been played automatically. So I'd set position as 170 seconds so that the song starts from the position 170 seconds. So that I can skip, skip the song. Okay. So let me play this and see if the song has been queued. So yeah, the song gets unqueued 
and it has been automatically played without any indication. This was all about the music module. I hope you understood what all was explained. Thank you.